Auckland, New Zealand. A tanker collides with a car and erupts into a massive column of fire. The driver of the car has already escaped. Firefighters don't believe anyone else could still be alive in the flaming wreckage. But suddenly, something beneath the burning tanker catches the eye of firefighter Roy Kennedy. It seems impossible, but there is movement. I saw a small human hand waving from under the wheels. There was no other body part or person visible, just a very small hand waving in the smoke. 12-year-old Shirley Young is caught in the wreckage. But to reach her, Royd must march into the raging inferno. The brave firefighter doesn't hesitate. He rushes through a thousand-degree wall of flames to get to Shirley. But when Royd finds her, his heart sinks. Shirley's legs are pinned under the blazing truck, and there's no way to free her. She was screaming, she was crying, she was yelling. She was in a dreadful, dreadful situation. Now Royd realizes that he is trapped along with the little girl. I knew that we were both going to die because there was no way out. Fire crews are determined not to give up. They blast the flames with water and foam in an attempt to create an escape route. But Royd doesn't think they can make it. Knowing that we were going to die, I took my helmet off and strapped it to her head and arranged the visor, pulled that down so that when they found her, at least she'd still have a face that people could look at. Roy tries to take the little girl's mind off the pain by telling her stories about his horse and inviting her to go riding. She was in a pretty serious way and she needed something to raise her spirits. Firefighters continue to wage their battle against the hellish onslaught. Then, at the last possible moment, rescuers are able to fight back the flames and get to the tanker. Jacks are quickly put in place and the burning truck is lifted. At last, Shirley is free. Roy delivers her to safety. Overcome with emotion, the exhausted fireman gives the suffering little girl a tender kiss. We had bonded in such a way through such a horrendous experience that it was a loving father-daughter kiss and she just needed that little peck to complete the rescue operation and to let her know that someone was looking after her. Fellow firefighters try to console the emotionally drained hero. Shirley spends several days in the hospital. Her injuries are so serious that she loses part of her right leg. But thanks to Royd, she has the inspiration to make a full recovery. He sat beside me and was telling me about his daughters having horses and that when I get out from the hospital, I can go and ride the horse. It was really good what he'd done for me. Yeah, because it put his life in, in a bad position too.